I feel so in touch with my own personal power in a way that I've never experienced probably since I was a little girl. Um, I feel that I've learned to trust myself and um, value my own thoughts, opinions, and feelings and learn how to interface with the world, uh, you know, in a loving way without compromising my truth and who I am. Um, before I worked with Marie Elizabeth, I was constantly, you know, trying to make nice and please others and sacrificing my own truth and my own sense of self in order to um, be liked or loved or any of those things. I've very often felt that the healer or therapist or coach had like their own agenda or own like vision for how things should play out and was often like sharing their insights and kind of projecting that onto me or onto the coaching container. And so as a result, a lot of times the, the coaching didn't feel like it fit me or what the therapist was saying just felt like prescribed and not actually aligned with me and what was really going on. And with you, Marie Elizabeth, I never, ever felt that. I definitely have learned so many tools from you and you come to every session with a lot of, um, like a full toolkit, you know, should it, it be appropriate to suggest or teach but you never come in like and uh, put anything on me. You never shamed me or made me feel <clears throat> bad for where I was at in my process, whether it was resistance or um, being stuck or being angry or just feeling a mess. Um, I feel that you really have showed up and met me where I am with like deep compassion and acceptance. And that enabled me to accept myself and then become willing and able to start using those tools. But you never put them on me before I was ready. Like first it was just being in acceptance and loving me in wherever I was, whatever mess, whatever pain, whatever fear and letting me, I mean, I think one of the first lessons you ever taught me was that whatever I felt was right. And you even had me say that, like I'm feeling angry and it is right, or I'm feeling resentful, and it is right, and teaching me to stop sort of denying or shaming my own experience and emotions. So no matter how difficult or negative it was, like you had me practice naming it and accepting it and, and saying that I had a right and a reason to feel that way, you know, and then from there, we were able to really um, build so to me, that's radically different than a therapist who comes in with a set of beliefs or believes I need to be fixed or prescribes, you know, or a psychiatrist who prescribes medication or a coach who works a certain modality and wants to push a breakthrough on a client or whatever. I mean, even if you as a coach see something and have an intuition about your client, you don't force that on them. You don't tell them. You you ask them what do they see what do they feel and then you ask consent to share and you're okay if it doesn't resonate during the time that we've worked together we've both lived and are living through a pandemic you know i moved out of the home i was living in i have learned how to teach during a pandemic and become a single mom and i feel like i have lived through and risen to the challenge of so many challenges I never thought that I could. And I am sure that life will bring me more, you know, that's just the nature of it. Um, but I don't feel helpless anymore. I feel like I can, I can feel upset. I can feel helpless. I can feel all those things, but then eventually I know that I can come back to my own inner strength or that I can call a friend and tell them how I'm feeling, which breaks up some of that paralysis. So I really, I mean, I feel that I can do anything, but I also feel that I've learned that you do have to take steps towards what you want. It doesn't just, I had this fairy tale belief before that if I just like wanted it bad enough that I should be able to go from zero to a million in six months. 
And I've learned that isn't true, that you really do have to take the steps and it may take time, but I'm feeling more confident that I can go the direction I desire and every step of the way get closer to that in a very tangible way.